Hi there, and welcome back to another maths help um, video. Today, we're going to be learning how to solve quadratics when the leading coefficient is not equal to 1. In other words, when a is not equal to 1, when the quadratics are in the form of a x squared plus bx plus c. You will also need to have a general knowledge of how to factorise normal quadratics when a is equal to 1, and of course, the solving aspect of quadratic equations. Factorising an equation when the coefficient is not equal to 1, the leading coefficient is not equal to 1, is generally the same principle. So we're trying to get it into the form of ax plus b plus cx plus d. And normally you would just have the x without the a's and the c's in front of it, so x plus a plus x plus b. Or it would be slightly different because um, obviously you write out ax squared plus bx plus c, so etc. Um, however, there is one thing to note, and that is that c or a can be equal to 1 but obviously at least one of them must not be equal to 1 um, because we know that the leading coefficient is not equal to 1. So there are a few very simple steps to be able to solve these kind of equations and they're actually really easy ones you know how to do them. So the first thing you do is you multiply a by c. Um, so in this case it is 2 multiplied by 3 which equals 6. Now this is a really important number for the same and it is for the same reason that when you do a normal factorization, the the two things that you put into the brackets, so the b and the d, have to um, add up to b and they have to multiply to make c. And in this case, they're going to multiply to make this number, whatever this number may be. So then we can look and we can start writing factors for whatever this number is. And be careful, of course, with negatives if your um, equation involves negatives. This one's fairly simple, so it doesn't. So what are the factors of 6? Put them in pairs. So there is 3 and 2 six and one and for now those are all we need really and of course six plus one makes seven so now we're going to write this out and it's really important that you write it out in this exact way that i'm going to show you so what you do is you write two x squared plus six x plus x plus three and the important things to remember here is whatever these two factors that add to make this number and multiply to make this number um whatever they are you've got to write them out um in the terms of x. So if it's 6 and 1, it's 6x plus 1x or whatever. And if it's minus 3, it's minus 3x, etc. It doesn't matter the order that you write these in um, because if it is solvable, you can do it either way, either way around. But you've got to write them out like separated. So the next thing we do is we factorize, we split this into two parts and then we factorize each side. So um, we've got to you put, pull as much out from the bracket as you can. So in this case, it, these are both um, can be divided by 2x. So 2x leaves us with 2x plus 3. And then we do the same with the back. And in this case, we can pull out 1 and get x plus 3. And it's important, even if it is 1, to pull it out. And what you really need to do is to get the two brackets to be exactly the same. And if it is a solvable equation, they should be able to come out as the exact same. And when that is done, you can now have two things multiplied by the same thing. And that means that we can actually rewrite the bracket as 2x plus 1, x plus 3. Because you're multiplying by 2x, um, you're multiplying by x plus 3 in both situations, so you can just kind of put it together. And then obviously, once you have this, you can factorise as normal. Um, well, you can solve as normal, make it equal to 0, etc. Now, before we move on to any more examples, I want to show you um, the fact that it really does not matter um, which way you write it around. Because I used to be quite worried that I'd get it wrong, but it really does not matter which way you write around 3. So if we rewrite 3 slightly differently, we can write it as 2x squared plus x plus 6x plus 3. And then if we redo step 4, we can write it as, if we split it into 2, we can write it as, okay, what comes out of here? Well, we've got x, now it leaves us with 2x plus 1. And then we've got what, what goes into these two. Well, we've got 3, and that leaves us with 2x plus 1. And, of course, this will then give us the same step 5. So it really does matter which way around you write it. Here is another example for you. And before um, I show you how to do this, and we're going to involve solving this time as well, um, I want you to have a go by yourself to try and do it using the method that I just showed you. So I take by now that you have done it yourself. And um, before I start doing it, I just want to let you know that um, just check that you've been careful with the negatives because this is what makes this one quite hard. So the first step is, of course, multiplying A by C. And make sure to check um, if C or A is a negative. So 2 multiplied by minus 9 equals minus 18. And then we're going to write out some factors. So minus 18 can equal minus 6 multiplied by 3, minus 9 multiplied by 2, 
I don't know, minus 18 multiplied by 1, whatever. But we can see that in this situation, minus 6 multiplied by 3 is a factor pairing that does work. Um, so then we can rewrite this equation like we did before. So 2x squared minus 6x plus 3x minus 9. Um, we're going to leave out the minus equals 0 for a while. We'll get back to that once we um, put it into brackets. And then we're going to do step 4 again. So we're going to split this in half and then factorize out as much as we can. So in this case, it's going to be 2x and then leaves with x minus 3. And in this case, it's going to be 3, which will leave us x minus 3. And then for step 5, we can, of course, just move these two together, these two terms together to put them into a bracket. So 2x plus 3 and x minus 3. And this time, we're going to solve this equation. So, of course, we have to make the this equation equal to 0. So 2x plus 3 x minus 3 equals 0. So that means that one of these brackets must always be equal to 0. So that means that either 2x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. And if we solve these out, we can have 2x equals minus 3. And in this situation, this is where it might get slightly complicated, um, but it's really not too difficult at all. You just got to remember to divide in this situation. So x equals um, minus 3 over 2. And in this situation, it's just simple like it would normally be an x equals to 3. So yeah, that is how to solve um, quadratics when the coefficient, the leading coefficient is not equal to 1, or when a is not equal to 1. And I hope you found this video useful.